Hi and welcome to today's garden. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, we are going to be working with RStudio and GG42. And our output that we want to create is a plot of this type, where we have two line plots uh, in different colors and each with their dots for the unique observations as well. So they share an x-axis and they also share a y-axis. But we have two series in one plot so that we can compare them graphically. The data set that we will be working with is a Longley data set, which is already part of RStudio for the base R data sets. So let's get right into it and create a new file. Select new file, R script. And the first thing we want to do is uh, load ggplot2 so that we can work with it later. So we use uh, library ggplot2. And the ne uh, next thing we want to do is we want to load the data sets. So that is data, longly, and it's this first one here. Press load, and then we are going to open the data set with the view command. So that's view, longly, press run, and there we have it. It's a pretty small data set, and it basically shows, like roughly speaking, um, economic data of the United States for the years 1947 to 1962. Now, uh, if you want to work with this data set, I encourage you to be a little bit careful because uh, I couldn't find a proper description of all the data. The column names are, I think, pretty self-explanatory, um, but it seems like the um, the amount in which the measurements are taken are different for each column. For example, here's a, a unemployed data. Um, it says 60.323, but the unemployed says 235.6. But clearly it cannot be that the unemployed is higher than, uh, than the employed. So uh, it must be taken in a different uh, measurement amount. Um, anyway, in this case, we want to use purely uh, graphical re uh, representation as an example, and we don't really want to interpret the data. But I think if we use the fields armed forces and unemployed for our analysis, then we see that they apparently have the same um, style of measurement, so we can compare them quite well. And as we will see, to come back to the plots that I have already prepared here, it looks like there is actually a correlation between the two, a negative correlation where if the armed forces are rising, the unemployment uh, number is uh, declining and vice versa. So that's why I have selected these two columns for this uh, graphical representation. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, clear this plot so that we don't see it anymore, and then we're going to re recreate it one by one. So let's get back to our script and create a new ggplot. So we use command ggplot. And normally, if you would want to create a plot with just one line, you could do it where you select in this command data equals longly comma mapping equals whatever and in this case we can actually uh, we could start with this but i think an easier way that um, we make more clear what we're doing here is if we just delete all of this and leave this command completely empty and what we're going to do now is we're going to add uh, multiple plots, multiple uh, geoms, as it's called in ggplot, to this base. So we're just going to continue with a plus after the empty brackets, and we're going to get into the next line, and we're going to create a geom line. And in this, we want to define the data and the mapping that we want to use for this particular plot. So that would be data equals Longly, 
comma mapping equals um, AES x is defined as the year and y is defined as mm, armed dot forces. Now I'm going to go over this a little bit more quicker because um, for this tutorial like I kind of assume that you already know the basics of ggplot but um, if you don't then very quickly if you do a plot in ggplot these are kind of always the standard steps that you want to take and if you just wanted to do this one line plot you could also take this complete uh, part that I have now marked in blue and put it in here in the brackets. But since we want to do multiple plots with different mapping, we will have to do it like this, where we define the mapping in each single plot. So, um, yeah, this is already for the start. And let's actually see what happens if we just let it run like this. We see we have a plot where we have the year on the x-axis and the armed forces on the y-axis. And the line is black and that is maybe the first thing that we want to change. So after we have finished the definition of the mapping we can type another comma and select color equals and I guess I did this in blue so we can go with blue here and we can let it run again. And as you can see, the color changed to blue. Now, the next thing we would like to have is that we also have the dots for each uh, observation. So that in these cases where it uh, declines kind of linearly, we can see where the unique observations actually are. So, and we do that by selecting a plus and we go to a new line again, just to make things uh, more clear to read. And we're going to add a geom, um, geom point, that is, which uh, adds points to the plot. And within the brackets, we actually want to have exactly the same as this, so that the mapping and the color is completely the same, except that it's a geom point instead of a geom line. And I'm actually going to do it where I just copy and paste the whole inside of the command. Now let that run again and there you see we have added all the unique points to our line plot as well. Now of course you could also do it the other way around where you first define the uh, points or the dots and then you define the line. It's, uh, it works in both ways independently. But of course, now comes the main part of this uh, tutorial, where you still want to define the second um, group of data, and that is the unemployment rate. So we do another plus, and we basically do the same thing as we did for the armed forces, where we first create a line plot, and then a, a point or dot plot. So we add another geom line. And we go with the same process. So data is lonely, comma mapping is uh, AES x equals year, comma y equals, and then I actually have to uh, look it up. Un um, law, sorry, like this. And the color should be, let's say, orange. And let's that run again. And oh, kind of forgot uh, to define the color here. That's what we define. And there we have it with the second line. But what is still missing are the dots. And so we uh, create them by the same scheme as before with plus geom. Uh, Point. And once again, we copy paste the inside of the command from the line plot. And uh, press run. 
and there we have it. Now the only thing that is kind of missing is that we change the title of the y-axis because here it just says armed forces, but that's not what it is. The blue line is the armed forces, the orange line is the unemployment. And how we do that is with the labs command in ggplot. So we add another element with a plus and we call it um, labs. And we have to define the x uh, label as well. So that would be x equals year, comma, y equals um, armed forces, blue, comma, um, unemployment orange. And let's uh, let's run this one more time. And there we have it. We're done. I think we can also add a main title if we want. So that would I think be main equals uh, armed forces and unemployment in the USA. And uh, doesn't do anything. That's how it is with uh, title instead of main. Sorry for that. And then we have also added our main title. Now in this case you can slightly simplify this command by adding, like removing the data part from each of these and putting it in here. And you can also um, extract the mapping part from this command and put it in here so that you only define the mapping for the y-axis inside each command. However, if you do it in the way that I've shown here, then you could potentially also have um, also combine uh, plots from multiple data frames inside one plot if you want. And um, yeah, they don't even have to be in the same data frame. That's why I wanted to show it to you in this way, uh, even though it does not apply to this data. Now, I think you will agree with me that it's quite a nice and readable plot and quite simple to do. So I hope that you found this little trick of how to combine multiple lines and uh, dot plots in one plot helpful. If you have, then uh, I would be happy if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RStudio and about ggplot, then consider subscribing to the channel because I have more similar content coming up very soon. And finally, if you have any questions regarding this topic, then uh, leave them down below in the comments and I will uh, make sure to come back to you. Thanks for watching and bye bye.